Today, I get to share with you my new After Effects plugin, ShakeSauce 2. As many of you guys may know, ShakeSauce 1 came out about two years ago now, and there's so much new inside of ShakeSauce 2. Starting off, this is a completely separate plugin, so the UI is completely new, it's super responsive, and it has new presets, and then also the ability to make custom presets and save it inside of ShakeSauce. So you can now use your own custom Shake presets inside of ShakeSauce. There's so much I wanna share here, but I'd rather just show you. So go ahead, sign up for the seven day free trial, link down below. You can try Shake Sauce 2 completely risk-free. If you don't like it in the seven days, you can cancel, but I guarantee you're going to love it. Let's go ahead and get into After Effects. So inside of After Effects, you can see the UI is absolutely beautiful. We have this new text here with Shake Sauce. You can see the glow on all of the icons. Everything's super snappy. And I'm going to go through and kind of give a brief rundown of Shake Sauce 2. I'm going to upload a masterclass video tomorrow, giving you the ins and outs of everything you need to know. But this is just going to be the Spark Notes version, the real quick version of how to use it, how to get it set up and all that stuff. So as as you can see here at the top, it says presets. So there's two different tabs, presets, which are presets that are already made that you can go ahead and apply. You can actually make your own and save them in here. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And there's a custom tab where you can make a custom shake preset from scratch. So we'll start up here inside of presets. And then you can see there's a filter here with constant and keyframe. That way you can go through and just hover over and see what shake preset you want to apply. This is the constant one. So that means there's going to be no keyframes in it. It'll just consistently do this forever. And then in the keyframe filter, you'll see it shakes that have keyframes apply. So they're really good for like hits and transitions. And you can just hover over and see which one you like. So let's go ahead and just apply one like vertical. So right between our two clips here, you can go select vertical, you can actually double click on the text, or you can just hover over it where this green marker is, and then click this check mark, you can see it applied our shake transition. And just like that, we have a beautiful transition between the two. If you press U on your keyboard, you can see we have our keyframes here. And the middle keyframes or the most intense point will be highlighted in a specific color. For me, it's green. For you, it probably will be red by default. And in tomorrow's video, I'll show you how to kind of change it and make it look really nice and cool. But for right now, you can see there is a way we can go ahead and customize it. You can see now the Shake Sauce 2 effect is in your effects controls. You can change the position, the rotation, the scale, the flicker, the motion blur. You can also turn on and off mirror edges. So Shake Sauce 2 is a huge, massive update for customizability and just speed and overall. This is just the best shake inside of After Effects, hands down. So as you can see, we can actually change the X and Y amplitude. So if we wanted it to be a little less intense, we could bring it down. Or if we wanted it to be a little bit brighter on the flicker, we could go ahead and do that. And you can see we now have our own custom preset. And if you go ahead and you don't like something, you don't want this preset to be here. One of the really nice things about Shake Sauce 2 is you don't actually have to delete anything. So let's say we just didn't want it to be vertical. We wanted it to be horizontal for some reason. If you're selected on the Shake Sauce 2 control layer and then click the check mark, it's actually just going to go ahead and replace the transition. So now we have that horizontal hit here. And if you wanted to replace that one, just make sure you're selected on the controls layer and then check that. And that way you can go through multiple shakes without having to apply, delete, apply, delete. You can go and filter through. And if you wanted to make multiple of these shakes throughout your video, you could either copy and paste so you have the same shake over and over like that. Or if you wanted to apply a whole different shake, you could go find somewhere where you wanted it. Just make sure you're not selected on this layer anymore. That way it won't replace it. So just click somewhere in your timeline and then you can go ahead and apply a different shake and it'll load up here. And just like that, you will have a whole nother shake. If you ever want to go ahead and delete your shakes from your video, just make sure to click this trash icon while selected on the layer. So you can just go ahead and delete and delete. And now all of our shakes are gone. So that's a majority of all the shake presets. One thing I really like that's inside of Shake Sauce is you can actually go frame by frame here inside of Shake Sauce. It's just a really nice quality of life thing that makes it just a little easier to apply shake presets exactly where you want. Like you can see, we can go right to that transition, go ahead and apply our preset and just like that, we have a beautiful shake transition. So let's go ahead and delete that. I wanna share a few other things that are really, really cool about Shake Sauce too. So as I mentioned, you can make completely custom shake presets in here, but another thing you can do before we get to that, is you can actually customize the presets that are already built. So if you really like, for example, that vertical one that we had, but you wanted to make it just slightly different and then save it inside of Shake Sauce, that way you can use your version of that vertical hit, you can go down to this little edit icon. And instead of pressing the check, you just press the edit icon. Now it's going to load it up in the custom tab. So as you can see here, it is just the vertical 
transition that we had before. And now if you go to the keyframes, you can either customize it in the UI with these beautiful sliders that are super, super responsive. So it could bring down the amplitude a little bit. And let's go ahead and go over. You can see there's three main tabs up here, position, rotation, and scale, and then flicker and blur. So we could maybe turn down the rotation a little bit and then maybe bring up the brightness a little bit. And as you can see, we now have our own version of that. We can also bring out the keyframes maybe a little bit. Let's just go ahead and make it a little bit more custom. So now let's go ahead and say we want to save this preset as our own. That way we can use it in future projects. All we have to do is go to the peak amplitude. So wherever the shake is the most intense, because we're editing, the, the keyframes are already highlighted, but you can just go ahead and move your playhead right to there and then click center keyframes. And then if they're not already highlighted, they will highlight a specific color and then go ahead and click save. It's going to ask you what to name your preset. So now we can name it vertical V2 and then go ahead and click save. It's going to load in the background real quick. And then if we go to our presets, go to our keyframe because it's a keyframed one, you'll see vertical V2 is right here. And let's go ahead and just delete it. So that way you can see that we can have the exact same shake applied that we just saved. It's so insane. The fact that you can do that is just nuts inside of Shake Sauce 2. That's something that we've been working on for the past nine months to be able to make your own custom presets and save it. And now I wanna go ahead and show with you how to make a preset from scratch. You don't have to even use these presets that are inside of here. So if you go to the custom tab, you can see the only option that's available is this create. So what we wanna do is go to create. It's gonna load a few things in the background real quick. And then we are now in this custom preset tab that has no values whatsoever right now. So let's go ahead and just create a custom preset from scratch. If you go ahead and let's go back like two frames because we wanna make a transition and keyframe the amplitude. And then let's go ahead and keyframe the rotation amplitude and also maybe the scale and then in this tab we'll also keyframe the brightness so now if you press u on your keyboard you can see all of these values now let's go ahead and go two frames forward bring up the amplitude to a little bit we'll also bring up the frequency and if you can't get the exact number you want dialed in you can actually double click on the slider and then put in the exact value so let's do something like 15 nice and easy here and then go let's go like five frames forward and then bring it back down to zero. And one cool thing you can do while holding Alt on your keyboard, if you click on the keyframe, it will actually easy ease them. That way you can go ahead and easy ease them just like that. So our shakes are starting to come together. It's maybe not exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and play around with that rotation amplitude a little bit and maybe bring that up a bit. And then also our scale, maybe just have a little hit so it zooms in. And then let's go to our brightness as well. And let's bring up the brightness to like two. And then we also have to make sure flicker selected. That way it actually allows you to change the brightness. You can see you can turn on and off motion blur as well. And then also the mirror edges. So it's fully customizable. Like I said, really, really cool stuff here. Let's go like a frame or two forward, bring down that brightness and then go to the end and bring down the scale, the rotation amp, and then also the position amplitude. So now we have this nice twitch shake just like that. And you can go through and customize this however you want. You can make it 100% your own. You can move the keyframes around and get different looks. Like this is like literally the sky is the limit here. You can make your own custom presets. It's insane. So let's go ahead and save that. So like I said, you're gonna wanna go to the spot with the most intense shake. So you can go right here where our shake is the most intense, where the keyframes are the highest and go ahead and set center keyframes and then go ahead and save. And we will name this quick hit and then go ahead and click save. And just like before, our preset is now going to be saved inside of the keyframed, the quick hit. And if you're ever having a hard time finding your preset, you can also just search for it, which is really nice. So quick hit, you can see. And if you also, if you're like, eh, actually, you know what? I like that preset. I don't like it any longer, really. I don't want to use it anymore. You can go ahead and click delete. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to delete it because once you delete it, it is gone, uh, but you can go ahead and delete it out of your shake sauce. And one other really, really cool feature that I'll share with you guys here today before I do that huge in-depth masterclass is if you want to import and export presets. So let's go ahead and say we want to export this test preset that I made. Go ahead and click here and then it's gonna open up where you wanna save it. So let's just go save it to our desktop right now. And then it says file completely successfully saved. 
and then you can see on our desktop, we have that test.shake preset that we saved. So as you can see, Shake Sauce 2 is a massive difference between Shake Sauce 1. It, like I said, it's literally a completely separate plugin. We remade it completely. We spent the last nine months developing it to make it the best possible shake, customizability, UI, the speed, and just the responsiveness of the overall plugin is insane. So go ahead, click the link down below, download Shake Sauce. You can try it out for free for seven days on a seven day free trial. If you don't like it, you can cancel it at any time. I'm telling you, this plugin is seriously a game changer. I'm gonna be using it in my workflow and I've been using it in my workflow since the last like nine months as it's been in beta testing, but it's now officially out. Go ahead and check it out. And one really cool thing is once you go ahead and download it, if you refer it to three friends, you will get a lifetime free access to Shake Sauce. So if you refer three friends that end up going ahead and subscribing, you will get Shake Sauce 2 for free for life. So go ahead and share it in your discords, share it with some friends that might think this is helpful, but that's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.